Subscribe right now and hit the bell icon, or this fat spider will crawl over your face while you sleep. I know some of you are wondering if humans have ever gotten contact with aliens. Well, we might not be too far away from this as you think. So stay with us as we are counting down 10 animals that look like aliens. Maybe one or two of them are not really animals. Here is our number 10, Feather Star. These are beautiful creatures with stunning colors, but they definitely look out of this world and highly extraterrestrial. These crazy looking marine animals have their feathers to get around underwater. They like the shallow water, but they can also sometimes be found on ocean floors up to nine kilometers below the surface of the water. Swirling their many feathered legs in the water, we can almost imagine what they'd look like floating through the starry galaxy. Number nine, Gallicus Atlanticus. This floating sea creature looks so out of this world, it looks like something you would see in a sci-fi movie that you would not expect to take over the world, but they do. It's also incredible how pretty they look. The Gallicus Atlanticus, AKA the blue dragon, is a type of stinging sea slug. They actually float upside down on the waves. Their blue bellies face up to match the surface and their silver backs face down to blend in with light shining down. To us, they look like surfing UFOs. Maybe this is what people talk about when they think they saw a UFO. Maybe they don't see them in the sky, but in the sea. Number eight, mantis shrimp. If I saw a mantis shrimp, I would probably run away and scream and never look back. It would make me think an alien is ready to abduct me. And as much as I love to act like I'm sick of this planet, I'm not ready to leave just yet. These exotic rainbow warriors may be small, but they're extra mighty crustaceans. Their glowing green backs, red legs, bulging eyes, and long antennas certainly make the mantis shrimp one of the most alien looking creatures on the planet. Kind of like that alien that shoots out of that guy's chest in the movie. Oh my God, what's it called? Oh yeah, alien. Number seven, scotoplanes. Imagine a jellyfish had a baby with a pig and that kid grew massive tentacles. And that is the only way I can describe what scotoplanes look like. So the scotoplanes is also known as the sea pig. These jelly-like creatures are actually a type of sea cucumber. Unlike the crunchy, delicious green vegetable, this sea cucumber lives in the dark at the bottom of the ocean. And they literally are the pigs of the sea. They just swim around having fun being messy. Well, as messy as you can be in the ocean. Number six. Dumbo Octopus. This is the cutest yet ugliest creature you will ever see. It really is what it is called, an octopus with flappy Dumbo ears. Honestly, if there was anything that would make you believe in aliens, it is this sea creature. If I saw this, I would probably wonder, where is their UFO? And get out of the water and call for help. Or maybe I would ask to take me to their leader. Who knows, but I don't want to find out. Number five, Leafy Sea Dragon. Apparently, not everything that's leafy grows on plants. You may find this hard to believe, but the leafy sea dragon is actually a type of fish. If you squint your eyes, you might be able to see their resemblance to a seahorse. But we think these guys could fit in just fine on Neptune. Also, it has dragon in its name. If that doesn't make this animal any more creepy and weird, I do not know what would. They actually look pretty cute. I might actually keep one as a pet. Number four, hairy frogfish. This is the ugliest animal and creature you will ever see on the planet, and I'm not being mean. Comment below if you agree with me. Though the frogfish are officially fish, they actually walk along the sea floor on their bottom fins in search of a tasty meal. They may look like monsters in great need of a hairbrush, but the hairy frogfish is actually amazing at hiding and can even change colors to match his surroundings. Sounds like some extraterrestrial powers could be at play here. Keep watching for our top three and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to stay up to date with our daily content. Here is our number three. Granrojo Jellyfish. The name of this jelly means Big Red, which perfectly describes this gigantic ruby-colored monster of the deep. They can grow up to be three meters across, almost 10 feet. That is huge. Yep, I do not want to go in the sea ever again. This is one massive looking alien. And instead of long trailing tentacles, they have arms that are short and stubby. A fish with arms. Yeah, definitely staying away from the sea. Number two. Sarcastic Fringe Head. 
Turns out, humans have just run out of names for these extraterrestrial-looking creatures. So they just said, take that, sarcastic fringehead. These aggressive fish have large, colorful mouths that snap open if another fringehead comes too close. The size of their mouth is a sign of strength and dominance to the other intruding fish and tells them to keep away. Well, I will most definitely be listening and 100% keeping away. Number one, blobfish. You have probably seen these guys around on that meme that was going around the internet a few years back. Blobfishes occupy a habitat some 2,800 meters, 9,200 feet beneath the waves, a zone that is exposed to incredible pressures. Because they're such deep divers, these animals have a number of physical attributes of dealing with the harsh conditions. For starters, blobfish bones are extremely soft and therefore less prone to cracking. Sounds like aliens to me. Wow, now I wish I could see some of these alien-looking animals in real life. Comment below if you believe these creatures are aliens. Also, for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out the videos popping up on your left and right side of the screen. See ya!